Right, just keep dancing, keep rocking. Now tune to the hottest station in the internet nation. I got Christian Alexander on the line. And uh, we're going to keep these questions flowing all day. Christian, are you, are you still there? I'm definitely here, man. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. I'm feeling the vibe. How about you, man? Sounds good, man. I'm feeling the vibe. All day, all day. So uh, speaking of feeling the vibe, you're you know, a DJ producer. Christian, describe what's your equipment set up? When it comes to mixing a live set versus when you're producing in your in-home studio. Okay, so um, when I'm DJing live, I usually have four CDJ 2000 Nexus and then a, a DJM 900 Nexus. So it's all Pioneer, man. It's the uh, it's the industry standard, and it's uh, it's what I learned on, so I kind of I kind of stick with it. Yeah. And then uh, in my home studio, I, I use Ableton, and I have two big 30-inch monitors because I'm blind. Yeah, <laughs> I got one big one. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> so you're with me on that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and I, I just I keep it really dark too while I'm producing. I like I like the atmosphere when it's dark, and you know, for some reason it helps me helps me think a little bit better. Yeah, that's dope, man. That's dope. So, um, what do you intro? What, what, what do you intro? Uh, so I can't even speak today. That's why don't drink <laughs> Long Island and try to do an interview. It's definitely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> words of wisdom, right there, guys. Very words. Good words. <laughs> All right. So, Christian, what do you enjoy most about producing new music and sharing it live for the first time, playing at a party or at a festival? I mean, what's that like? Oh, it's just it's an amazing feeling when you're sitting in the studio and you just you just sit down for the first time and you're like okay I need to make a track okay yeah. so you're starting from scratch and then all of a sudden okay so you have a melody in your head you're playing it out on the piano you're recording it you're recording it and then all of a sudden another thing pops up and you add a layer and another layer and it just starts coming together and then it just sounds amazing and then you go and you, you export it out and you put it on USB and then you go live and when you play it in front of a crowd and they're feeling it it's just it's the greatest feeling ever because you know the track worked and yeah. you, you spend weeks maybe even months on the track and when the, when the crowd enjoys it and you know your your work has uh, been appreciated it's, there's nothing like it man that's dope man that's dope so which do you prefer better DJing or producing and why <laughs> <laughs> alright I've been getting this question a lot lately um to be honest I I've I kind of love them both equally. Producing has a, a little uh, a little place in my heart, 
just because I, I love the, the creativity that comes with it. Don't get me wrong, DJing, there's a lot of creativity to DJing, yeah. but I think that producing just has that little extra kick in the, in the creativity, and there's just so many different avenues you can do with producing. You can produce hip hop, you can, yeah. and it's just, it's amazing. Awesome, man, that was dope, that was, that was deep. <laughs> I learned a lot I'm a right creative there. guy, I, I take it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so switching gears here, man. Um, you're currently going to uh, the University of South Florida, right? Or South Tampa, right? Yep, the University of South Florida. Oh, South Florida, sorry about that. USF, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. <laughs> so how do you balance both your DJ career and going to school? You're studying, I believe, bio biomedical sciences? I am, yeah. I'm a biomedical sciences major. Um, lots of no-sleep nights, I guess oh, you could yeah. say. <laughs> but uh, I mean, there's school. I, I I take school very seriously. I always have. Um, I I like having both avenues. Um, I love learning new things, and uh, I love science. So just it it just works. Yeah. But uh, you just gotta have that fine line. You know, I gotta have this. this okay, so I'm gonna use these next eight hours and do homework and study, and then yeah. I'm gonna use these next eight hours to sit down on my computer and produce or practice DJing. You know, you just. You have to have good priorities and good time management, and uh, being a fraternity definitely helped that. They, they yeah. taught me a lot of time management. Awesome, man. Well, I give you a huge shout because I tried the whole DJ and going to school thing. It wasn't my thing. I was like, why am I going to school for music if I can just do it? So I kind of like walked away. From it. <laughs> hey, yeah. dude, if, it was, if it's working for you, more power to you, man. Yeah. Uh, everyone's different. No one's the same, you know? Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. So, uh, Christian, uh, when you're not hitting the books or you're not rocking the crowd at AMP, um, what do you do for fun, you know, during during your, your uh, spare time? Uh, entertaining my girlfriend, trying not to piss her off, you know? Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's been good, man. She, she's great to me. It's, uh, it's been a long road. She, uh, we actually started dating even before I, I started blowing up in Tampa, and she wow. stuck with me. And she's a good girl, so, I, you know, I, I, when I'm not in the books or in the yeah. studio, I'm, I'm taking her out, trying to keep her happy, you know? That's right. That's dope. I mean, I got a, I kind of, now, Big Don't Don't got a girl for me. as a Raver Bay. You know, that's kind of what I do. So, uh, <laughs> there's a Raver Bay, there's a Raver Bay out there for everyone. There's man. a Raver Bay out for everybody. <laughs> so, She's uh, out there somewhere. Exactly. So I want to do a quick promo. Check out Raver Bay's playlist on my SoundCloud, MC Big Dome. If you got a girl, you got a lover out there, you just want to fill some good tracks, definitely check out the playlist. It will definitely, for you couples, get you in a, you know, vibing spirits. Gotta vibe together, man. Yeah, man, all day, all day. (laughs) All right, boss, we can take a little music break real quick. This is Christian Alexander in the mix on Electric Vibes Radio. We'll be much love, guys. Be right back. Thank you. 
That's right, that's right. Your boy Big Dome here. B to the I to the G, Mr. D O M E himself, with the one and only Christian Alexander. You still in line with me, buddy? I'm still here. Glad you guys haven't kicked me off yet. Ah, oh, not, not at all, man. You're, you're the region. <laughs> you're on the flyer, man. You're the guy. You don't miss me here. All right, man. So. Um, explain to the Electric Vibes Radio fans, this is live, or and they're also listening to the replay, um, you know, what is your one quote I read? It's, uh, follow your passion, or following your passion is only, is the only journey worth taking. Is that like a motto, or is that a quote from a book, or where'd you come up with that? Um, I mean, there's a, there's a funny story behind it. I was, uh, I was just, I was back home visiting, and I was, I was sitting with my brother, and, uh, you know, I, had a few drinks and I was just thinking about like you know there a lot of people they take a lot of different roads to try and find out what they want to do for the rest of their life or what what they think they're good at and yeah. it's not to me it's not about what you think you're good at it's about what you're passionate about right I mean if you if you're passionate about something there's there's no reason that anything should hold you back from pursuing it you know yeah it's it's the only journey worth taking and worth using up your life to try and reach wow man that's good that's good Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I was like, man, I, I didn't know, I just thought it was like a quote from a book he just copied and pasted and put in his bio. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's a little story behind it. it. It might be a quote, a real quote somewhere. I'm not yeah. trying to take any credit for it in case someone calls me up and like, hey, I'm suing you. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to have that happen, but right. we'll see where it goes, you know? <laughs> for sure, man. All right, so what are some of your future plans leading to your journey to SMF? Um, ticket promo, by the way. If you need your tickets, I can actually get you guys hard copies. We're tuning in right now. They're going to be $169. You should have got your tickets early because it's a big lineup. But back to Christian. What are some of your future plans, bro? Um, just promote promote as much as possible. I'm yeah. trying, to, trying to hype up my, fran- my fans, my family, my friends. Get them out there. Get them to the festival. Get them watching me, you know, and... Just gonna try and produce as much music as possible leading up to it as well. Make some quality stuff to play for you guys out there. So I can hit you guys with some new stuff. Awesome, man. Awesome, 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 blossom. All right, so uh, what can these the fans expect? Uh, you know, Sunset's a big deal. I mean, what's...